Hey, Forbes. Um, how are things going after the break? Well, here we go. Uh, we're going to do a little um, subtracting. Um, subtracting today, and then we'll look at uh, lesson 13, subtracting decimals. And then also we're going to look at, uh, let's see here, uh, lesson 14, uh, and subtracting some money decimals, um, decimals with in regards to money. Um, let's kick it off with uh, the video that I streamed out to you uh, this morning, and this is one that uh, we started with. Uh, that was uh, there was a video there. He uh, used the old kind of language uh, where we were re uh, or were borrowing um, from the you know the tens house or the tenths house or the hundreds house and this kind of thing to make uh, the numbers make sense. So basically what was happening was uh, here, I don't know, I'll show you. Uh, you have five decimal three and you're taking away two decimal eight. Okay, so five decimal three, take away two decimal eight. Um, as you can see there, the three if you take away 8 from 3, you're going to get what we call a negative number. Um, if you were on the number line, right, so here's your number line, like so, here's 0. Um, you have 1, 2, 3, here's the 3, okay? And then if you take away 8, it would be uh, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So negative five unfortunately when you do that you cannot uh, have a, a, a regular uh, subtraction question for grade fours um, so that we're going to take the towel to swish 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 away there and we're going to start uh, back we're going to back it up a bit okay so that's the rationale the thinking that we cannot have a negative number basically what i was saying to a student there the other day on the phone is that you have uh eight people over and you want to give them an orange and you do not have uh enough oranges to give to those eight people so what you have to do is you have to go over to uh mrs imler's house and borrow 10 or, or borrow or regroup regroup um, and give yourself uh, the uh, she'll give you be nice enough to go to that house or the column and then you're going to borrow uh, or bleh, regroup a 10 to this part here so this number right now up above is 13 where you have regrouped you have taken away 10 so this is now four like even like say in your thinking 40 um, or just that where you need it the one okay you need it to now have um, in, in any regular if you basically take this out and you kind of imagine that those decimals are not there you can do that as well we can make sure that we always replace them in the elevator right and they always go in the elevator okay so the elevator is here and our always our decimals always have to line up for to be a successful and have a good equation uh, to to solve that equation so that it has a good outcome um, so there you go so this one now is four and then you can kind of even if you wanted to put that like a zero there um, and I'll show you what I mean by that later on um, right here is um, if this was a money question this would be like five dollars and three thirty cents. So you have three three tenths of the, the of the dollar. Okay, so three tenths of the dollar. But because you have eighty cents down here, okay, you need a dollar thirty to take away that eight. Okay, and that's kind of where we are wanting to. Uh, you know move into the next problem and I'll show you that next problem um, and so forth so um, and then I'll put a few of these on I'll leave them up uh, so you can see them and uh, and so forth and that will be your kind of exercises as I said before you can download this uh, this textbook uh, we're on page uh, 209 
and then and so forth but if you do not have that this week uh, there is a math pack math pack will be available at school uh, it, it'll be it's on right next to the right of the uh, uh, keypad to uh, the security uh, panel uh, and right at the school there at the main entrance of our school um, you can pick those up my uh, Thursday morning so they will be prepared and they're all ready to go uh, in a ziploc uh, in a ziploc with your names on them I did include the uh, writing handwriting so there's an art form that is art um, it is an art form to do that handwriting just like figure skating um, it is you know an art form in itself um, so you can you got a little bit of uh, you know a nice little uh, refreshing um, activity that you can do at home with the uh, with the handwriting but let's get back to the question so you have a look here as I said this is a dollar thirty and eighty cents now dollar thirty and eighty cents what you can do is you can count up so eight 90 cents and 100, uh, 110, uh, 100, $1. 10, dollar 20, dollar 30. So there's my dollar 30. And how did I get there? Was five. So I have thir 13 take away eight is five. Hopefully you can see that and try to zip, 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 zip that out of the way. Read, uh, redo, redo, rewind. And where does my, oh, let's extend that down just a little bit in the elevator down on the ground floor. Here's the first floor. Here's the second floor down in the basement, the basement. I have a wonderful story, but I don't have time because I got about 645. But hey, I'll tell you that story about the basement. If you ever hear you see, see me, I'll tell you the story about the basement um, in the hotel. It was quite interesting, um, the hotel uh, when we were down in uh, Fort Lauderdale. So that's a totally different story. But every time I say basement, that m I brings me back uh, to, uh, to that story. Um, but other than that, uh, you go, you have the five now. And if we were doing money, if we're doing money, the decimal place means that to the right of the decimal place is your cents. And then to, to if you have it, sometimes, um, do you have any cents? Okay. Um, this is number cents. Oh, these math jokes. This is math sense. Um, so if then you have uh, four dollars. Okay, take away two dollars, you get a uh, toonie. And if I was to put my number sign here, um, you have that two dollars. And is it five? Not really. It is now fifty cents. And you can also put these uh, imaginary numbers there, as you can see there. Five dollars and thirty cents. Take away two dollars and eighty cents is now uh, two fifty. Two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, let's move on, and I have I'll just have a peek at that one. This will be a little longer video, but we're going to be all right. You can see that five dollars and thirty cents. Take away two dollars eighty cents is two fifty. And you know, if you're working at A and W or McDonald's or these one of these places, or even your canteen at home, and we've mentioned that you know you can do a little canteen at home, put little numbers on it, take some uh, masking tape, and uh, you know change the numbers. I mean, you can all you do is uh, with one of your friends or your little siblings or your little brothers and sisters, you know, just have a little can fun with the cans and stuff like that, and also check to see the expiry dates on the cans and make sure you're not eating something from 2014. <laughs> uh, here we go. So I'll get rid of that. Um, let's see here. Uh, $8. So this one here uh, comes from the video that I previously put out today um, and, and so forth is that $8, $8 and 5 eight dollars and five eight or sorry eight decimal five now you look at that and you can say well what's that mean well let's have a look at the next part of this uh, subtraction equation here's your subtraction sign you're taking away you're minusing okay any of these types of words take away minus or uh, subtracting is all about when you're taking away or doing a subtraction question 
Um, they are now taking six decimal uh, two, three, two and three here, two and three. And then up here, if we put the imaginary zero there, and it's not really imaginary, it's just a place value. Okay, it's a place value that represents 8.5 is also $8.50, half of a dollar. Okay, so 8.5 is 85 out of 100, which would be 85% on a quiz if it was marked out of 10. Then down below we have, we can put our money sign in here. We can put our money sign in and money sign up here because um, these are eight, or these are money um money money questions money questions using decimals um decimals are going to be representing in and to the to the right of the decimal are the cents so those are the pennies the nickels and the quarters and so forth okay so now we put our equal sign on the bottom and now we start to do um what we have is uh 50 cents take away 23 cents but we have a, a situation where we're going to, okay? We're going to borrow or regroup, and we're gonna borrow, okay, and regroup a 10, okay? 10 over to this column here. This now becomes 10, because we borrowed and we regrouped 10 to this zero. So now this is 10, take away three, we have to make sure that when we cross it out, it goes from 50 cents to 40 cents. 50 cents to 40 cents, okay, and if you're doing this in your head, all right, so if you have some pennies or some, yeah, pennies, hopefully you do have some pennies, put 50 p pennies on, a, on your counter, put 50 pennies on your counter, and then uh, and then and then do the actual uh, subtraction. And if you have a calculator at the end, please use your calculators because you know you will have. If you're working at Safeway, you'll have the tell till, and you'll have the computerized system where you're putting um, the uh, the um, that's Mrs. Snyder. Oh, look at that! Eh? Well, she'll have to wait a little bit. I'm just kind of doing a video here. Uh, what do I do here? Sorry, can't talk right now. I am doing a, a video for the 4B. Um, let's see here. Seven, 10 take away 3 is 7 cents. And then 40 take away 20 cents is another 20 cents. And then $8 take away $6 is a deuce or a $2 coin. And then you have an answer of $2 and 27 cents. I hope this is really fun for you guys to do. Use some coins, use some things, uh, have some fun with this. Um, this is such a life skill. It's a very good life skill for you guys to uh, to use and, and later on in life. And please, you know, hopefully this makes sense. And if it doesn't, just look up on the thing a couple of times just go away and uh, and even look at some of your uh, IGA or uh, Superstore uh, receipts and see how that works and see whether you have been given the right uh, amount to pay. Uh, I know that my grandfather always came home and, and checked everything to see whether all the receipt lined up with the goods that he bought down at the Save Easy or the Foodland. <laughs> Or the butcher or the five to a dollar now here's a question five to a dollar what does that mean five the two a dollar store tell me what it means and you, you'll get an extra piece of gum next time i see you have a good day and i will see you later bye for now